I like this load this guy got. He got a tractor balanced on top of some pipes. Not sure how, how good you can see it. But you see the pipe? And you got a tractor on top of it right there. I got a load of shingles. I remember I did a load a while back. I just got reminded of it the other day. It's called Shingles and Pipes. Say something nice. That video, baby, six, seven months old. God, I even did it. Let me show y'all what I'm hauling. Yeah, look what I got. Look what I got. Yeah. Shingles. Good old shingles. Yeah. Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman. Yeah, 17.5. Shingles, baby. Hey, PNS sent me. PNS sent me a gift. Let me close my door real quick. It's, it's going in the summer. It's springtime now, but it's going in the summer. But one thing you don't want in your damn truck is some damn flies. The fly will make you crash the damn truck. We don't want no flies in the truck. Let me get it out real quick. Let me get it out. Hey, I posted. I posted it in, uh, on my YouTube story on the YouTube community tab. I said, anybody need a keychain? I posted it. Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. <laughs> Woo. If you look closely, we got PNS phone number right there. And then if you look on the other side, it says Dion Melvin, PNS field recruiter. I done gave a couple of them out. I gave a couple. I saw a guy at the truck stop last night. Matter of fact, this truck stop right here. Where, where is that? I forgot the name of this place. St. George, South Carolina. I saw a guy last night that works here. I was I was walking up and he works here. He was uh, driving the golf cart. And he was like, hey man. He was like, man, I can't believe I saw you. He was like, I watch your videos all the time. I was like, oh yeah? Usually, usually I'd be like, usually when people ask me that, I'd be like, I'd be like, nah. You sure you got the right person? I'm like, nah, you sure you got the right person? Sometimes I do say that, but I just be fucking with him. But he caught me off guard, so I ain't had time to play, uh, play alone. Hey. Because I never know. I never know when one of y'all might uh might be wanting to go outside my head. So a lot of times when people ask me, they be like, hey, you flatbed gang? Are you the you the PNS driver from YouTube? I'll be like, nah, you must have got the wrong guy, buddy. Ain't me. And then then they then like they might think about it for a minute. And they'll be like, man, that is you. Uh, I wanna show y'all something before I hit the before I hit the road. If y'all not in my flatbed gang group on Facebook, I'm gonna drop the link down in the comments too. So y'all can join my flatbed gang Facebook group. But it was a guy that posted a picture in the flatbed gang Facebook group just uh, the other day about these shingles. See, I got two straps on that front one. One on that one. It's one on all the ones in the middle. And they got two on the one in the back. And the guy asked me, because he said he ran out of straps, but he had some shingles that was turned the opposite direction. And and everybody was telling him, you got to get on top of it and flip one of the, the shingles. Whew. 
Hey, because when I first started flatbedding, I ran into the same problem. Now, see on this back bundle, since it already has two straps, you ain't gotta flip, you ain't gotta flip these out and put them up under that strap. But you see these right here? This one actually goes right here. But I picked it up, put it under the strap. Same for that one. Did it all the way down. See that gap? Gap on the other side. Gotta pick it up. Hope this helps out somebody. Yep, I'll, that one, this one. They actually go here. Now the thing about it, when I go drop this load off, the forklift driver might uh might want you to climb back up there and put them back how they're supposed to be. I won't be surprised if they do, because they have, they will do it. They tell you to put them back right. Ain't no big, you just climb up on the trailer. Put, throw them back in place. And that's how you're supposed to do it. Since somebody asked. Flatbed Gang Facebook group. Let me take a picture of this real quick. Well, gang. I got my dunnage on my catwalk. So I don't got no steps. My steps is down there, but I don't got them. So what I gotta do, use my tire. Yes, I got on flip flops. Cause I'm driving. Ooh, I got some oil on that, some tar or something. Woo, let me get back in the truck. Get this show on the road. No outlets. Guess what? This ain't the same load that I'm about to drop off that I dropped off yesterday. But it's still shingles. I dropped that load off, man. I had to, I had to pull on a dead end street and back straight up inside the gate. That place yesterday. So they were they were pretty quick. Like I guess because they didn't want people in the road. It was, it was one truck pulling out when I got there. I think it was a National Gypsum truck. It was like an owner op. He was in front of me. <clears throat> they backed him in. And I had talked to him. He been there before. And he was like, uh, whenever I whenever I back in and pull out, and, and you will back in, and, and well, you will pull up and back in. But they ended up coming out to the street, got me, and told me to, uh, Go ahead and back in too, right in front of him. I know he was kind of ticked off at that, but they unloaded both of us at the same time. So we still got out at the same time. They had to get to keep the cars off the street. We parked right here and go check in. 3250 Coastal Boulevard, Richmond, Virginia, ABC Supply. Last time I came to this place, I was getting, I was getting unloaded. And probably about, probably about halfway through me getting unloaded, the guy that was unloading me, there was a contractor truck in there. He turned around too fast and ended up hitting the contractor truck with uh, with one of the damn uh, pallets of shingles. So, you know how that go. Man, it took about an hour for them to figure that out. They had to take pictures. They had to do their little investigation. And I probably had about four or five pallets left on the truck. And I had to sit there and wait for them to do all that until uh, they unloaded me. But right now, I'm about to go ahead and get these uh, straps off so they can pull me in. I 
forgot to tell y'all this place was slow. Yeah, they're pretty slow, man. <laughs> you know how these shingle places are, shingle sheet rock places. You know they gotta unload their own sheet rock and shingles first, and load their trucks first before you can before they touch you. Man. I know I surprised y'all popping back up in this PNS truck. Hey. And if you wanna know why I came back to PNS, I was only gone for like a week and a half. Why did I come back? Cause I realized ain't nobody got freight like PNS. Nobody got freight. Like as soon as I drop this load off and send my empty call, I might wait five minutes before I got another load. I'm not gonna say it's always like that. 90% of the time, I got my next load. I don't have to, I don't have to wait an hour for the address and then drive 20 miles away and wait another hour and a half to get the comp, get the rate come from the broker. Hey, I'm gonna keep on moving. And then the best thing about it, I'm, I'm gonna keep on running. I ain't gonna say always run the East Coast, but I'm never gonna be far away from home. Where if I know I gotta be home by a certain time, I'm gonna be home by a certain time. And since I'm a lease driver, if I wanna deadhead home, if I ain't too far away, I, I can do that. Got too much freedom at PNS. That's basically why I stayed. Got too much freedom. Hey, but uh, hey, hey, shout out my dog, man. Let me get my other phone. My other phone there. Hey, I got first. I got to give a shout out to uh, Mr. John White, PNS recruiter. He, he recruited me when I first started the PNS, but then when I just left, he just, he's the man that called me back. He called me Monday and Tuesday. He kept offering me all these different options of coming back, offering me a local position, offering me a step debt position, like offering offer me all kinds of deals to come back. And I kept saying, "Well, John, you know, man, I'll call you back. Let me." Let me, let me see how this works out, and I'll call you back. He called me Monday. I can't remember how many times he called me, but then he called me again Tuesday, and he was like, uh, he, he was talking to Scott. Scott, that's the S on the side of the truck. He was talking to the, to the CEO. He really wanted me to come back. He called me that last time on Tuesday. And I said, you know what, John? Where's my truck? He's like, your truck's still in the same spot. I said, okay, I'll come back. Just let me get my same truck back. He was like, okay, I'll call you right back. He called me back like five minutes later. Bam, back in the same truck, like I never even left. Now, now, only bad thing about that, my truck sat on the yard for, what, about a week and a half. So by the time I came back to the truck, all my, my bungees were gone, my cheetah bar were gone. Um, I didn't realize it until after I picked my first load up and I went went to take some edge protectors out my box. Some of my edge protectors are gone, but man, PNS, man, you, you might see a PNS driver about 100 edge protectors. They ain't take all of them, but when I uh, take some edge protectors out, I looked in my box. I said, damn, my fire extinguisher gone. So I had my truck just sitting on the yard, you know, it's up for grabs, people need equipment. Oh yeah, some some uh coil dunnage, coil dunnage. I got four of them, but four of them missing. Hey, little small stuff. Nothing I couldn't get reissued right there uh, at the uh, at the little barn they got with the equipment in it. Just a little minor equipment. Yeah, so shout out John White, man, for hey for talking me into coming back, for making me realize what a wonderful company PNS is. Hey, y'all want y'all want to come to PNS? Hit me up. I'll plug you in with John White and I give you one of these wonderful PNS keychains. <laughs> hey John White also sent me something else. Uh, I got I got two of them on the truck already. This is the big one. Mr. Phil Recruiter. Hey man, hey, I know y'all y'all be like, damn, is that him? Y'all see my truck number 1705. But now you know if you see one of these, might be a good chance it's me. Mr. Field Recruiter. Hey, I'll talk to anybody, man. If you ever run across me, hey, I'm here. Shout out the guy that I seen at the pilot Sunday night down there in St. George, South Carolina. 
I was walking up to the pilot to take a shower and warm my food up. The guy that actually works at the pilot, he rec he watched my videos and he recognized me. So, hey, big shout out to my dog at the pilot. I didn't get his name, but I, I did give him a keychain. I told him when he was ready to uh, go join the flatbed game, he'd come on out. Whew. I was down there in Savannah yesterday, like I was saying, dropping off them shingles. And then I, um, man, I only had the dead head. That's, that's what I'm saying. I dropped the shingles off. I got my next load. It was some more shingles. Like six miles up the road. Was it Orange Corner? Y'all been there before. Orange Corner right there in Savannah. I picked up some more shingles. I was sitting in line. It was a, I think it was a Maverick truck in front of me. Maybe it was a TMC. It was a truck in front of me. Then it was another truck that pulled up beside me, but he didn't get behind me. So I was looking at him. I said, I know this mother trucker ain't, ain't trying to skip the line. But when he pulled up, he was looking at me. I said, I know this mother trucker ain't trying to skip the line. So uh, I looked at him like that, and then he looked at me, and then he got out of his truck. And I said, I said maybe maybe he don't maybe he's never been here before. Maybe maybe he uh maybe he asking how to check in. So he came up to my door. My dog Chris for me. <laughs> I'm just put the I'm, I'm put the picture I'm put the picture up here and let y'all see it. My dog Chris for me, man. I said man. Hey, he followed me on YouTube. And he said he was in the flatbed gang group. Then after I, after he told me his name, I said, "Oh yeah, I remember seeing your name before." You did have comment on a lot of stuff. So hey, y'all ain't joined the flatbed gang group on Facebook. In the description, the link is in the description. So it's always good to run across some nice folks out there, man. That's why I always try to treat people with respect because you never know when you might run across somebody. But hey, I might I might tick somebody off. Y'all might run across me. Y'all might want to go outside my head. So I always try to treat people with respect and dignity. You know how it is, man. Treat people the same way you want to be treated. My mom used to always tell me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Hey, I ain't gonna run my mouth too much. Seven minutes already. It's taken away from the video. <laughs> you probably won't see too much on this video. I, I, can, I can easily time lapse the shingles getting unloaded. I might I might just do it just for kicks. If y'all never seen nobody unload shingles. They already unsecured. I'm just waiting to back in. Is this the Fort Lift driver? Uh oh. We get right with you. Woo! That was that was the Fort Lift driver. Let me get on in here. Get on in here. Hey, I had a female subscriber that commented on something. I was backing up on one video. And she said, she said, I was told flatbed drivers didn't have to back up. She said, I ain't know, know y'all had to back up. I said, who told you that? I said, of course we back up. Back up in some crazy places. This ain't too crazy right here. I just gotta watch out for these cars in front of me. This ain't too crazy. Uh oh. I jumped that curve. Jump the curve. About to get out and look real quick. I need to make sure I'm clear on the other side.
too bad. See that pass on that right side? I just had to make sure I was clear of it. Better safe than sorry. This next load going. Looks like I got two different options. Pipe loads preloaded. Three stops. The hip. Lynchburg, Virginia. Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, Charleston, South Carolina. 750. Prince George, Virginia. Metal Span. Mountsville, PA. Thousand dollars. Let's check out this pipe load. Three stops. I'm about to call my dispatcher. Matter of fact, she's calling me right now. That's my load. I got a trailer number. Come on, buddy. Bring it on the ride. Petro Florence. Two men in a truck. I never saw these on a flatbed. About like see our England pulling them down pods. This video's been kind of kind of fast paced today. That's cause my buddy. When I got to Lynchburg, my buddy was there and he wanted to talk my damn head off. So I ain't had time to talk to the camera. I didn't have time to get no low camera. Uh oh, two PNS trucks. And a day cab right there. PNS game. Yeah, 1503. That's his truck number, 1503. Mine's 1705. More than likely, he's a leash driver. Where's my damn truck at? out here somewhere. Is that it right there? Looks like my truck. That's a badass k Dub right there. Yeah. Snowman's right there waiting. Snowman awake. Waiting on the king to come ride the chariots. 
Oh, that's not even my truck. He got shingles. It's not even my truck. He got Indiana tags just like me. That's why I thought it was mine. He got shingles. He got shingles. Where's my truck? I know it's close to the Blue Beacon. Oh, there's my truck. There's my truck. There it is. There's my truck. Tennessee Steel Hauler. Part beside the Montgomery. Allied. Hey, a lot of, lot, of, lot of trucking companies out here, man. A lot of trucking companies. I never hauled those things. Here's my truck. Yeah, with the pipes. Here's old, old snowman right here. Yeah, Mr. Snowman. Flatbed game. Thanks for watching, man. We about to wrap this thing on up. Hey, Mr. Field Recruiter. Let's wrap it up, man. Flatbed game, 17-5.